welcome to the Ladynomics Show. I'm with Dr. Pawan Agrawal, the head of the Mumbai Dabawala's uh, Education, Education Centre. Center. That's right. Dr. Pawan, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. You know, tell us a little bit. You, you spent many years, nine years, right, doing research on the Dabawala's. True. Tell us about the Dabawala's and the research you have done on them. Very good question. And I thanks you for inviting me with your very good system and good show. Actually, I have to do research on some management subject. Okay. There were four subjects with me. And among four subjects, one was logistics supply chain of Mumbai Dabawala. Mm -hmm. Because I'm born and brought up in Mumbai. I know the Mumbai Dabawala may not be closely, but even my uncle was taking delivery from oh. Dabawala in, their office, in his office. So I was quite interested to know about the system. So I chose that subject. Mm -hmm. And a couple of days, I just got some idea some information from them, I got thrilled. Amazing story. What Mumbai Dabawalas are doing. I really got myself thrilled. I motivated and I decided even I may or may not be doctorate, I will do research complete on this system. So tell us about the Dabawalas. I mean, what's so fascinating about the Dabawalas? Fascinating is what? The Dabawalas, Daba means a tiffin, okay. Wala means man, man who yep. carrying this tiffin. These people are not catering food. These people collecting your tiffin from your home. Mm -hmm. Tiffin is your, food is your, which is cooked by your wife or mother. Yeah. So they will collect your tiffin from your home in the morning and they will deliver in your office. Right. After right. your lunch is over, they will back empty tiffin in the evening at your home. Now you may be asking, you may be thinking, why you want the baller to carry your tiffin? Why you cannot carry? The reason in Mumbai, long railway routes. If you want to reach office 9 o'clock, you will start morning 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. If you start morning 6 o'clock, your wife will cook 5 o'clock. You don't want your wife should cook 5 o'clock because you love your wife. Yeah. You want she should cook 8 o'clock. Oh, we, we should love our wife. You should, you should <laughs> love. So you, your wife will cook 8 o'clock, but you start morning 6 o'clock. If she cook 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the bala will come and he will collect for you. So your wife will get comfortable time. Mm -hmm. Your food will may not be hot, but will remain warm okay. till 12, 12.30. 12, okay. Number two, even you start 9 o'clock, you cannot carry your own tiffin mm. because the crowded local trains of Mumbai, it's so crowded, mm. you find difficult to board in local train with empty hand, mm. taking tiffin out of question. You can't carry your tiffin. So they are carrying. What another thing, they're not carrying only tiffin. They carry good passion. They carry commitment. They carry love, affection of your mother, wife to your office by way of food. Yeah. Number next, they carry hygienic things because your home cooked food is most hygienic than other food in the world. Mm. So they want, they want to do this service for their customers. Mm. And, and the interesting, they, they carry what two million over tiffins every day. Yeah, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand tiffins every day. Every day, and you don't make mistakes. I mean, it's so easy to make mistakes, right? I mean, two hundred thousand. Logistically, it's a nightmare, right? Exactly. 5,000 people carrying 200,000 tiffin. It means one man carrying approximately 40 tiffin. Right. That 40 tiffin with food comes to 60, 65 kg weight. And how, how is that possible? Is it uh, special luggages to carry all the tiffin? How, how ah, yeah. In our, uh, in our 12 coach local train, two coaches are luggage compartment. So they travel through luggage compartment. So they can travel comfort, not comfortably, not easily, but despite because of luggage compartment separate, they travel to that luggage compartment. You know, historically, companies like DHL, FedEx, I mean, when they deliver, they deliver things, they always tend to, there's always mistakes that happen. But the double wallets are unique, right? I mean, there's hardly any mistakes that happen where you get the wrong tiffin or the wrong wife's food or maybe <laughs> someone else's <laughs> food and so on and so forth. How, how do they do that? I mean, how do they amazingly accurate delivery on time, all the time? For years, right? It's a, hundreds of years they've been doing this, right? Yes. Very good question what you ask. Uh, they're doing last 123 years. 123 years. Started 1890. Of course, it's a human being. They always believe, every human being, maybe you and me, mm. how mistake is not happening. Yeah. I can make some mistake. We've brought that I am right to do mistake. Yeah. If you ask about Dhabawala, they're not doing error. Why? I'm using one dialogue. Mm. They say error is horror. Okay. Don't look into mirror, it is danger. Okay. <laughs> because they believe if I'm not giving Tiffin in time, 
your company will not change lunch time if the baller comes late so you know the consequences mm -hmm. number 2 very good question you ask some other wife stepping is delivered to you you will not eat you will hit me because you will get angry man what this nonsense mm. because non vegetarian tiffin can be vegetarian mm. he will not accept it mm. so what he say simply my customer is fixed every day mm. i am collecting from home i am delivering in your office how i can make mistake Absolutely. it should not make mistake but it's how, very simple how, thing but how do you do that i know you do some color coded stuff but i mean these are all just simple people right i mean the double wallers are not highly educated they don't have mbas they are they're not the you know it's 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 a relatively with with very little technology essentially right how do they not make mistakes see now you are taking my interview i i don't know how much qualified you are but before you comes to this job you must mentally prepared man how i should take interview mm. how i should take face camera mm. how i should manage the show yep because you are passionate to do this mm. i don't think you will make mistake you will not make okay. mistake so it's the passion of the people passion of the people mm. number 2 you are dedicated to your customer you know my customer is god mm. my customer is the whole thing so you are dedicated to that service number 3 they people feel serving food serving god mm. that attitude is there now see in it this got a belief that the, everybody has all the double exactly. serving people i mean okay true and number 3 i i don't know how you can i can explain but this 95% people having this chain the bawalas mm. what is mm. this if they chain they are having they never drink they never smoke the reason morning i come the bawala come to your home evening he come to your home you are not there who are there mother sister wife family members are there so it not good to drink and smoke they love because culture comes from heredity mm. comes from grandfather father so that passion is there okay. how do you maintain the whole double wallas i mean 123 years now with new technology with you know people want i mean how do you recruit double wallas firstly and how do you excite them and motivate them and i mean they're not that compared i don't think they're highly compensated people either right uh what's your i mean there's secret behind that true 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 i think this question answer can be useful to many people mm. those who are in hr or personal management absolutely yeah recruitment very good any new person suppose want to come to this business what is their condition present the bala should take his guarantee okay if he takes guarantee then only he can come to the group okay. and when present the bala takes his guarantee before he come to group couple of days before he will make him thrill man i am taking you i am taking your guarantee you must have passion mm. you must be honest mm. you should be 100% execution yep. you must have you must have the right delivery no late delivery i will make him thrill so when he come to group that passion is there mm. because he takes his guarantee so normally the same community people come to the group mm. because present the baller cannot take guarantee of outside person mm. the man who is from village the man who is from family he takes guarantee of his so because of this the atmosphere is remain which is coming from last 100 years plus that is the main reason mm. because in your this team your recruitment is very important yeah. and i believe if you six people are working passionately tomorrow when you appoint seventh person mm. naturally if you see your atmosphere yeah. he will work like you he will not dare to go against you right. six right right mm. absolutely that's what happening in the bawala right. so the culture is very very strong very very strong And, and you know it's interesting you are sometimes referred to as the CEO of the Dabba Wallas and what we mean is not CEO in a in a literal sense but the chief education officer um, <laughs> and and you know as part of your role to educate people with Dabba Wallas um is is it to help i mean how, are you helping to translate the principles of Dabba Wallas to normal mainstream management so that management i mean the business leaders can see how much they can learn in terms of your the double wallet the culture the the ability to motivate the ability to build uh, uh, such values and integrate it into the workplace uh, is that one of the one of the things that you're trying to as part of your mission absolutely good absolutely true i'll just add you also told that because i had an phd because i am an educationist i have my school colleges in mumbai thanks god more than 8000 students are learning education in my all educational trust 
what I thought, there are some Dabawalas who want to educate his, their children, but because of some problem, they could not educate. Mm -hmm. I came forward. I told man, you send your children to me. I will teach, I will make education absolutely free of cost to these people, these children. Number two, if you feel, now see in Malaysia, you are passionate to take my interview because the ballers are good work they are doing. All over world recognize. I want to present same to corporate people. Man, look to the story of the baller, how passionate they are working. I know you cannot replicate their system, but you can replicate their culture. Yes. Honesty. Yes. What takeaways? Honesty, passion, commitment, time management, what you call execution, mm. customer satisfaction. That what I'm presenting to corporate people. And, and ensure that the customer is God, right? Customer is God, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, that's absolutely a, a brilliant point. Uh, so see, in every case, today I was delivering to some people. I told them, for the day, you are my customer. What is my prime duty? What I'm delivering, all 200 people should satisfy while going. If they're not satisfied, their investment is useless. Yes. My tour is useless. Yeah. So everybody should think of customer. Now you are thinking, those will look to this interview, they should satisfy. Oh, you have taken some good interview of good person or good system. Right, right, right. You must have. So Lily, we got to do this in Malaysia. Huh? <laughs> we got to make sure the Dabawala <coughs> culture gets integrated into Leader Nomination. Again, it's Certainly. honesty, it's a customer satisfaction, and it's just making sure that you're always working passionately. And don't forget, right? customer is God. You know? Customer is God. <laughs> Any words of wisdom that you'd like to give our viewers? I'll suggest just my opinion to viewers. See, whenever you do some business, I know the people are doing business to earn money. Mm. But I believe the money earned should be the second objective. Mm. The prime objective, customer service. Mm. You must think what customer need. And if, need. Mm. Yes, if you attack, if you target their need, and if they're satisfied, I think money will flawlessly come automatically. But if because of only you want to earn money, then you reduce or you deteriorate your quality. Because you think for money. But if you think for customer, I think your quality will increase, your good will increase, and customer will be ready to pay anything. Believe me. So entrepreneur, those who are starting new business, passion, think, think, think of customers, that's it. I think you will get very good business. Maybe India, maybe Malaysia. Absolutely. You know. Dr. Pawan Agarwal here on the Leader Nomics Show. Dr. Pawan, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much for a nice interview. <laughs> it was one of the best interview which I faced. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Good. fantastic. Excellent. Dr. Pawan Agarwal from the Mumbai Dabawala Education Center <laughs> here on the Leader Nomics Show.